Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, this year I've been sharing leadership lessons from our new book, which just came out at the end of May, Captured by Love, Inspiring True Romance Stories from Vietnam POWs. And you're saying, well, how do we get leadership lessons from love stories? Well, we were surprised that the lessons from the love stories really parallel a lot of leadership lessons. So that's why I'm sharing them this year. You know, bonding came out, has come out recently in several areas, and I'm going to tell you about a new book about that in just a minute. But bonding is so important because bonding helps people feel connected and that someone cares about them. And when you are connected with someone because you have something in common, maybe it's a lifetime experience that you've gone through, like the warriors who fought in battles over the years, they are bonded. You know, the fighter pilots, we have a reunion almost every year. And the POWs have a reunion almost every year, two separate reunions. Well, the POWs in the second week, the third week of May this year, we had our 50th reunion, 50th anniversary of coming home from the end of the war and being released and coming home. But the fighter pilots are also having a 50th anniversary in October to celebrate 50 years of after the war. And but we get together a lot. So that bonding is important. And in leadership, when you bond, you're really showing someone you care about them. You listen to them. You pay attention to them. They feel valued and important. Now, I, over the years, I've done an exercise. Do it usually at the beginning of a workshop when I might have 20 or 30 leaders in the room. And I will ask them to think of the most, uh, the greatest leader they've ever had. And what was so special about that person? What made them a great leader? Well, by far, the number one item that comes back is they listen to me. Think about that. The power of listening to someone. You're giving them a, your attention. You're showing them that you care about them. Emotionally, it's a powerful thing because they feel cared about, loved. And that's so important. And when you do that, leaders, and at home, it really connects in a way, it's investing that's with a huge payoff. Well, just this past weekend, I went over to Dalton, Georgia, and met an author, his first time book, but he's a Marine who had both legs blown off in the Iraq-Afghanistan era war. And now he's got this book out, and the title of it is Unbroken Bonds of Battle unbroken bonds of battle. Now, it's a bestseller. And when I read that book, I read it actually before I met him. I got it on Kindle and read it. And it was so amazing to me how bonded those warriors were and how it helped them survive. He had both legs blown off and his best friend was killed in the same explosion. Can you imagine that? And you're a young person in your early 20s. I was 23 when I was captured in facing the enemy, <laughs> you know. You do what you have to do, but then to be bonded with people who've gone through what you've gone through, it really helps you to heal. So his book talks about that in several different illustrations and stories. I thought it was very powerful. And our book, Captured by Love, Inspiring True Romance Stories, does the same thing in a very different way. Talks about love stories where bonding and being connected to somebody is so important. I'll just tell you about one story very quickly. There was a fighter pilot whose best friend went down a year before he did. He was his best friend. They didn't know if he was dead or alive. His widow moved back to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and this guy actually flew as an escort to take that family back to Chattanooga. Well, within a year, he was shot down and captured. And while he was a POW, Two years before he came home, his wife died, and he had a 13-year-old son. So he comes home, gets together with his son, who was living with his, grand, with his son's grandparents, and then decides to go to Chattanooga to see the widow of his best friend. Well, they meet and they connect. They realize that they have suffered something very similar. They connected. Three months later, <laughs> He proposed to her. Six months later, they were married. 
and they have such a great story. They're both passed away now, but they were married more than 40 years. And that bonding, that connection, that empathy came, comes out in many of those stories of these great marriages that have lasted 40, 50, 60 years. So bonding and connecting with the heart is so important at home and at the workplace. Now, that's not easy for a lot of personalities, okay? I understand that. Coach yourself to adapt. Put yourself in a place where you think, I need to let them know how important they are. And when you do that, you ask them a question, you listen, you relate to them at an emotional level. When they're being emotional, you don't connect objectively. You go down to an emotional level and just show them some empathy, and that will be so powerful. Not easy, but after you've done it a few times, it works well. Well, thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you next month. Take care and God bless.